your comb. Look at my hair. I look like a freaking it clown. Works for me. I like it. Are we going to drop test this? I'm not saying we no, should. We have to, but maybe we okay, can drop no. test this in section. I, I don't know. I, I always feel bad with the drop test. I don't know how to fix it all. I'm just it. saying. So have you actually watched The Wandering Earth? I have never. I've watched the first 20 minutes of The Wandering Earth. Oh, okay. Because before you said you'd watch half. Not even, I don't think it was even. Just well, how far was that? With when the guys are. Well, the movie's more than 40 minutes long, I can tell you that much. Yeah, it's about 40 I'll, minutes. I'll give you 30 minutes. Don't, don't overestimate <laughs> yourself. I'll give you 30. So, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Break Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty, and we're back with. Sean, aka The Silver Spleen. And like the last video that we did for the tank, we talked about a little bit about this, which is from the film The Wandering Earth. It's a sci fi film from China. Yes. Big blockbuster. Very big. It's uh, on Netflix now. Yes, it's on Netflix. Please do us the favor, watch it in Chinese and not in English. Like I tried, I'd seen it before, but I tried to watch it in English and it just didn't work. Yeah, it's, I actually tried it in English too and I was like, no, yeah, it's not, not gonna, gonna happen. No. But anyway, we're here to talk about this as requested by some of you. Yes. So this is from Panlos Brick. Yes. And this is a vehicle, the main vehicle, I guess. Yes. It's called the Earth Truck, right? Yes. Is this official? This is unofficial, by the way. I'm shocked. They don't say Wandering Earth, but they call it the Earth right, Truck. Right, just Earth Truck. And, and as you can see by the cover of the manual, you'd really have to have a traumatic head injury not to tell exactly what this is supposed to be about. I mean, right down to the, the outfits and everything. But I kind of give them credit when they do stuff like that. There's a certain shamelessness. So this is Panos Bricks. Not Wandering Earth Truck. Number 628001. 2,105 pieces. All right, Sean, tell us about this film. All right, so the movie, in a broader sense, The Wandering Earth was China attempting to kind of do a science fiction blockbuster, which, you know, they're very expensive. Now, The Wandering Earth was 65 million US dollars budget, and for that money, I think it really worked. But the film is really ambitious, and okay, occasionally its, its reach exceeds its grasp. But I was impressed with it, and some people say, well, oh, like, it's a very nationalistic film. Have you ever watched Armageddon? I mean, have I you really? I was gonna say, this is like a, basically yeah. a Chinese version of Armageddon, right? Yeah, it's, I mean, yeah, it really is in a lot of ways. It's just that you don't get like a free copy of Aerosmith's greatest hits with The Wandering Earth, but that's another story. Go play the Aerosmith uh, yeah. Armageddon soundtrack to this right now, and then yeah, the, this video might be more fun. In the, the story, uh, and it's based on a science fiction story, the Earth is being moved out of the solar system to a new home, and they create these things called Earth Engines. And for a number of reasons that I'm not gonna tell you because you can watch it on Netflix, there's a bit of a crisis and they need to restart some of the engines. And in order to do that, they need cores, these sort of big heavy things. And so if you have to move big heavy things around a frozen landscape, you would need big heavy trucks. And that's basically what this is. This is a big truck designed to carry big heavy things in a fictional, environment that is only coincidentally exactly like The Wandering Earth. So I haven't seen the film all the way through, and I saw this and I'm like, this actually just looks really cool as a sci-fi fan myself, and I like the detail and the look of this. As far as build goes, excellent. Oh good. It was actually really fun to build. There are some loose pieces here and there. And we'll we'll kind of go through it a little bit. Okay. But first of all, I guess we can let them know that this thing actually rolls pretty nice. okay. Yeah. But the front tires swivel like on their own. Well, they're supposed to, aren't they? Yeah. This is the only section that moves, but just like I was showing you with Sean, it's kind of loose, so it's really hard to keep it straight if you just want to roll it straight. It might slip and just kind of want to roll to one side or the other and it's attached to the trailer piece, which holds in okay. There's a lot of detail here on the top, which is actually pretty cool. Yes. I have no idea what the functions are. There's a hatch up here that can open there, like that. All right. Now the problem with the set, with a bunch of these little parts here and there, like the rear view mirror, I guess these are rear view mirrors. There's, more, there's some on the bottom, I have no idea. They pop off really, really easy. Okay, let's just separate this. Swing it around. We'll just pull this off like that. Okay. So we'll move this aside first. Okay. Okay, so this is the front. The front bit. I guess you can hold it and take a look at it and see what you think. All see right. what falls off. Let's see what falls off on the Thanks front. a lot. Actually, no. Ooh, that's heavy. That's got some weight to it, right? Yes. You know, it passes a shake test. There's a few stickers on this set. There's not a lot, but there's on the front here on the windshield, there's a sticker there. I kind of screwed up, so I tried to take it off. I'm like, oh no, it's, Ow! it's doing this weird thing. You don't actually need that on there. I think it's actually better without the sticker. Yeah. And then here on the side, there's one red sticker, it's 
I don't know, man. They, I think they just kind of went, oops, we didn't put a piece of red there. And the CNS73, I don't know if that's exactly the same as the film. I don't know. That's a sticker on both sides. Yeah, why didn't they just print, either print it right on or print it clear or eh, who knows? That I'm not sure, but the top, like the hatch here and the top there, those are all yeah. printed. Oh, okay. And the, and this little light, this I'm not license plate there on the front. Yes. That's a print too. Okay. There's actually a lot of prints on this, so it's kind of weird why it's they had to do stickers. Or maybe right. it was the last minute thing. Like, oh, we we forgot to put to make a print there. There's a little detail back here. It's just kind of interesting, like the What's engine. That? I'm not even sure what the hell that is. I don't know either. But at least it's got something there. It's not plain looking, right? Yeah. The cool thing is the top can come off. Okay. So we can pull this off. I mean, just the, just the, just, gen just the gen roof. gently. Okay. This ladder will pop off. Uh -huh. And there's some room in there. Yeah, Very nice. There. Going back to the movie itself, one of the things that I was really uh, impressed by, and I think you will be too, the level of detail of the interior of the vehicles. Now, obviously the vehicles aren't real, so they built these interior sets to look like the interior, but they were really, really well done. And we talked before. Uh, Andrew, yeah, it was actually done by a friend of ours. Yes, Andrew Lin. He did all the special effects, right? Yes. And interior Worked design. in Hollywood, worked in, in Hong Kong, has working in China, does special effects, and just really, really nice work. Good um, job, Andrew. That was yeah. one thing I did enjoy about the film, was I actually loved the set design, especially the opening yes. in the space station. I was like, whoa, that's actually really cool. Yeah. You know, one thing I forgot to say is that there's actually two or three other brands that are doing official sets, and hopefully we can get the other one from Sembo, which is supposed to be bigger, but they have an earth truck, which is official. Okay. And I don't know, maybe I can find Andrew that time, tell him to come down. Oh, that'd be us. awesome. He probably would. I don't know, if he's, if he's around. Andrew, if you see this, please. Yeah, what's up, Andrew? Please. All right, so we look on the inside here. Yeah, this is not as detailed as the movie. How could it be? But I like this. I like the yellow tread plate. Yeah, those are prints. Yep, okay. The computer screens are print. They look nice. like Windows 95, though. That's okay. The clear... Yeah, the clear one, print. The clear, yeah. Detail, look at the detail on there. Even the, like, the light gray one has a little figure printed on there. Yes. Dashboard is printed. Yeah. But this is the funniest thing. They have two helmets here. I don't know why. No, no, those are not helmets. You. I thought you said you watched the movie. We caught him. Okay, there's a steering wheel. It's, yeah. But why is it, it's a Star Wars helmet, man. The Stormtrooper's helmet, right? Oh, snap. Look at that. But yeah, that's a storm, that's why I'm like, it's a helmet. Is that, <laughs> is that considered oh. pure genius? Or is that like or it's, an idiotic it's, thing it's to do? Not really, a, it would be a Cosmic Battles helmet because this is unofficial. It's not Star Wars, it's Cosmic Battles. So what Sean is saying is that they flip Basically, these are steering wheels, but they're helmets that were flipped around. Yeah. Well, that's right. I remember that now. They the, control the, yeah, the ball, you, right? you control. Yeah, you control the vehicle with the. Which again, like, why would you do that? Why? Who would design a vehicle that way? But who cares? It looks funny. And then you got a couple of extra seats in there, four seats, and along the back, you have like what? More looks, gold bars. Yes. Padding. And they have like really? a first aid kit thing. They have syringes there. Wow. Is that in, a drawer? Yeah, they have a drawer. We open the drawer. They have cookies inside. Cookies? Yeah, it's cookies. They call it store content arc. Okay. So that the food that they're gonna use in case the world ends. I don't really remember the food that much. Wait, no, yeah. Okay, there is food in the movie. They have a briefcase down below. Of all things, I don't know why they chose to use this one. <laughs> <laughs> That's really sweet. Well, for being a guest on my show, this is a gift for you. Here's a nice, a nice handbag. Yay! Yeah. Then you just got some little extra like tools hanging on the side of the wall, hammer, nice. wrench. And there is an entrance to get into this, surprisingly. Yes. Put your pinky finger there. But it kind of doesn't really fit the figures. No, you can yeah. really tight. It's on both sides, that side. Right. Oh, it's hard to get in there. And then not much left for this. There's just more little extra containers on the side of the vehicle. So you can put like more goodies inside. And there's like a pulley system on the front, but there's no rope. This part was a little bit tricky to put together. It goes in an angle. But as you can see, it's all there intact and together. That's it, man. That's it from the front. Okay. Now, put this back on and we'll look at the back. Ah. Okay, for this bad boy. The cargo section. Cargo section looks very <laughs> nice and detailed. I like it. Again, all prints on the top here. Printing on the sides, all says CN. Correction, I was actually wrong. There was one more sticker in the back here on both sides, the triangle thing. I wasn't actually gonna put it on. The sacrifices I make for you guys to show you how nasty that red is. I wish it would have been printed or just keep it black, man. Don't put the sticker on there. Leave it alone. They got two little flaps up here. Flaps are supposed to open up, but 
No, I can't get them open. Open the flap. Oh, can I get them open? Screw it. I got one flap open. I yeah. couldn't get the other one open. Yeah. I don't know what that's for, do you? I don't, actually. Okay, uh, so that's just like an extra bonus. So on this side here, you have a door. There, uh -huh. right there. And like Sean was just saying. Probably not big enough to actually shove the figures through, but. You can't even go in that door. It doesn't open. <laughs> it's just. Oh, it's designed. just there. Okay. It's just there. So again, it's actually a pretty solid piece of build, but there are some pieces that might fall down because they're built from bottom up. A perfect example of that is this bumper piece back here. And where the door was earlier, the ladder might fall down. So it's like really fragile on some parts. But other than that, it is pretty solid. Yeah. And there's actually two extra flaps here on each side. Oh, okay. And they have weapons inside. Sweet. Got a blaster there. Yeah. And the printing quality for the back here is actually really good. Look at these prints here. And right above the bumper, where the license plate's supposed to be, that yellow piece, there's so many prints on here. I really feel they didn't have to put the stickers with the set at all. That's really, really good. Now right here, it's supposed to be another printed plate right there. And I actually just found it while shooting this. I can't believe it. I actually put it here by mistake. So, you know, I'll put that back later. But there it is, the hidden printed piece. There's your Easter egg for the video. Now, the good thing about this, it does open up. <gasps> Ooh! Ah, perfect. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. And what's there? What's on the Sweet. inside? This is actually pretty cool. It's a yeah. little fragile. But this is... This is the Earth Engine Starter. Want to see something really cool? Check this out. Now, out. again, when you watch the movie, like, this is not a spoiler, but you would kind of wonder why if they have these things that they need to restart the Earth engines, why didn't they keep them closer to the Earth engines? But uh, what are you gonna do, right? At least you got a light break that does come with the set. I'm just wondering how I'm gonna ship this to people because we have to take all the batteries out when we ship it. Oh yeah, that's true. Well, I don't know how that's gonna work. Well. So if you ordered this from us, I hope it gets to you just fine. Yeah. But there you go, this sits in its little area here. It's right. kind of loose inside. There's a lot of loose things in here. You move further up, you got a toolbox, three of them, mm. with a bunch of tools inside. Once you go past the ball, you get to the tools. I don't really recall very much of the movie showing you the inside of these things. It's, it's all kind of implied, but I'm sure at least once you do get to see it. So you got four backpacks that fit back here. Okay, so it's not fully tiled on the bottom here, but it's nice that you can actually stand your minifigures there. It's really nice that both sides are nice and smooth. They do mirror each other, except for the door, and the slots for the backpack's a nice touch, so you know you have those as extra accessories for your figures. But along the front, I wish there was just a little bit more going on there, like a control room or something. There's a part right here that says CN there. I actually had the wrong piece they sent to me. The piece they sent was actually too long, it was like that. So I had to find a spare one, and I took the spare one from my favorite T92 tank. Oy. So part of that is a part of this now. Okay. But there you go, man. This is the Panlos Earth Truck. No, I, I like it. I mean, like I said, the, you, you look at this and you immediately understand what it is, which to me is, is kind of the point. It really does look like it. All cool. right. Does Action come with figures. Three figures. These three figures are roughly based on the, I would say, three main cast members. Now, obviously, Wu Jing is the star of the film, but most of the story takes place with uh, these three people. One being the grandfather, who in the film is played by Mantat, who you may recognize from a lot of old Stephen Chow movies. So let's start there, because that's the figure that I look the most like. Gray hair, kind of a beard, interesting. Wouldn't necessarily say that it looks like Mantat, but then again, this is unofficial. I like the, the outfits. I mean, these are kind of, okay, they're not necessarily, no, they're not unique to one another, but, uh, they do a, certainly a, a good enough job of evoking the film and, and the kind of stuff that they did, so I mean, it works for me. And the old man is... Hail Hydra. There you go, Hail Hydra. You actually asked for this review, so... Oh, you go. perfect. So there you are, sir. So you get seen, you got seen rarity, as they say. The, the main character of the film, who is Wu Jing's son, not his real son, I mean, in the story. Uh, I don't recall his hair being like that, but that's okay. Again, not a whole lot to say about the figure. Although I do like the way that this is with this sort of dark thing, because what they're wearing are kind of like space suits with the big neck so they can put the glass helmet over it. And this, without actually physically doing that, it, you kind of get that impression when you look at them from the front. So I, I enjoy that. And the young male is... From a recent review, or from uh -huh. our last tank review, uh -huh. that will be, or that is... 
El Jefe of Bricks. El Jefe. El, el Jefe. Didn't you live in California? Yeah, I was just trying to be nice, man. El Jefe de los Bricks. El Jefe of Bricks. Oh, el Jefe of Bricks. Who actually works on tanks. So thank you for your comment in the last Sweet. video. There you are. And thank you for working on the tank. All right, and Hazel. That's right, Hazel. Hazel gets to be name checked. One of the, the few criticisms I have about the film is that this young woman, like she, she has no agency. She literally spends 90% of the movie just watching people do stuff and responding to it. And it's just like, I felt bad for the actress because she's in this gigantic movie, but she's just standing around, which you know is what I do in movies, but I'm not famous. So yeah, and I don't recall her hair looking like that, but again, I don't blame them for just kind of using existing stuff. And again, you could look at this and know, especially if you've seen the movie, oh, that's the grandfather, the grandson, and the sister. There's a bit of a spoiler around that, so I'm moving on. But anyway, yes. Did you just spoil it for me? No, I didn't. Okay. I didn't, actually. All right, you guys, dimension time. So you need two base plates, because this thing is actually pretty long. Now I'm gonna kind of guess around here, yeah. This is a guesstimation, but that is around 57 studs by length. You guys can kind of measure that up and just see for yourself what you think. Now let's check the width. So break out your one by four bricks. We're gonna measure the back of the cargo first because that's the highest point right there. And that is roughly around 13 bricks. It does push up a little bit, maybe a little bit more. And you know, it's almost there here. So it's kind of around there. And how right, I'm gonna put this right here. And that is roughly, well, it's pretty much close. That is 11 studs in height. So there you guys go. Will that fit in your garage? I'm not sure, but guess what? Now we have roads. Finally, I took these plates out and yeah, that doesn't make sense to use these. We're gonna try it out anyway. Where we're going, we don't need roads. Why am I doing this anyway? But there you go. This thing's gonna take up two lanes probably. Oh, it can almost fit in one lane. Yeah, put this one there. Put this one over here. There we go. Yeah. Just so you guys can see what this would look like in your city, in your science fiction realm, like that. Yeah, what do you think? Does that look cool? So there you guys go. This is from Panos Bricks, Sorry. the Earth Truck. Yeah. It's available on BrickMeUpScotty.com nice. or wherever you want to buy it from. Right. And if you buy it from me, right. I'll make sure Sean puts a little extra something in your package. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll. <laughs> there you go. Now we're going to jump and do another review just for you guys, all right? Yeah, I'm going to wear the same shirt. Me too. So until next time, you guys. Brick him up. And him. And us. Yeah. Yeah, brick us both up. Wait, that's not, whatever. Open flap. Oh, okay. Bastard. I got it open earlier. Close enough, you got one. It's the same as the I can other do one. it, man, I can do, do it. it. Do it! And I, I sort of, believe it or not, I wore this shirt intentionally and I promise I'll tell a quick story. Uh, I went to a movie premiere once for a film called Lost in Macau. You can find it on YouTube. You probably don't want to watch it. This film was quite literally made for security guards in China to watch on their phone. And I'm not a security guard in China, so the film didn't necessarily work for me, but I admired the fact that the people that made the film rather unusually had an exact idea of who their audience was. And so I say that because the wandering earth is very much the same thing. Well, we saved the Earth. How are you feeling, son? I'm feeling great, Dad. These new steering wheels are awesome. I'm so glad we took them from the stormtroopers. Yeah, they don't need those helmets anyway. How are you doing back there, daughter? Daddy, there's something on the screen. You better stop the truck right now. Oh yeah, I see them. What the hell is that? Daddy, I thought you were going to show me something really cool. Where are we going? Dear, I'm telling you, it was right here. No, I'm not quite sure where we are. Whoa, this thing almost hit us. What the heck? You do. You're in the way. What are you guys trying to do? We're looking for our vehicle. But hey, actually, your guys' vehicle is kind of cool too. Which vehicle are you looking for? We're looking for the official Wandering Earth military truck from Sembo Block 107005. 811 pieces? Have you guys seen it? Sembo, this is Pandos. You guys are on the wrong area. There ain't nothing here like that. And uh, we're called the Earth Truck. Not, uh, wondering. Say, Scotty, how come you're always wrong? Dang it. It's okay, guys. I know what you're talking about. Jump in the cargo, and I'll take you there. We have plenty of time now. 
We already saved the Earth. Already? At least we don't have to walk anymore. Welcome to the cargo hold. Yeah, there's not much room in here, but you know what? We don't need this thing anymore, so I'll move this out and just make yourself at home. Uh, it's not as big as this one, but it's still pretty cool. Anyway, ah, at least there's space in here. Chill and relax. All right, you guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Big Scotty. We'll bring you back more videos, right, dear? That's right. Catch you guys later. See ya. Bye-bye now.